Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the daily Apple report for Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023. Before I click through all the charts, I just want to encourage you to please click like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel and share content, if you would, with friends and colleagues. And check out WickedStocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos, just like the daily Apple report, daily analysis in the SPY and the Triple Q, weekly analysis and the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and the long bond ETF, the TLT, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor, always looking for 20% moves on those underlying stock picks. Uh, and uh, we offer a five day free trial that goes with your subscription. So once you um, sign up, You've got five days to cancel at no cost to you whatsoever. You get the full assortment of everything I just mentioned. And if you don't like it, you can bow out at any time within the five days for no cost whatsoever. So let's jump to the charts. Take a look at this one here. Just a reminder that several months ago, we settled above this long-term channel top that now is at 169.17, anticipating in the months to ahead, uh, by the end of the year still, 223.76 in reach, this long-term channel top remains our big picture objective. Uh, so over the last, well, geez, over the last month, two or three, you can say we have sort of followed this channel formation all the way up, climbing daily. Uh, 204.48 is the ceiling. We did test that about a month ago, fell back almost to test the floor within a week and a half. It's at 192.17. We could continue trading inside this zone all the way into September activity. 192.17 represents a meaningful support that may well contain selling through August trade and once tested 204.48 in reach over the following two to three weeks. Now, there is also, that is the wrong chart. Do I show it here? 191.60. So I don't have them on both charts. Let me see. I do not have both. Uh, that, that doesn't really matter. So I'll just go back and forth. 191.60, you can see lower right, uh, precedes or is actually below the uh, 192.17 level. Now I do have 189.86 and I'm still showing it, but I'm just going with it as an intraday support level because if we close below not only 192.17, but also 191.60, once again, this range here, lower right, I do see a sell signal that is then likely to play out into later August, the following two to three, three to five weeks, then anticipating this upper 170s support, 177.05 to 179.46. So once again, 189.86 is just a mere intraday support level. You can see that lower right here, that if we break the 191.60 level, you can see 189.86 in reach today, but closing below 191.60, which should also be below that longer term formation at 192.17, would then uh, indicate 177.05 to 179.46 within three to five weeks or less. So if you're long, say 205 or 225 out of the money calls uh, that expire over the next month or two, and we close below 191.60, I would um, suggest that you cover those out of the money calls uh, and then reach perhaps for 180 out of the money puts that don't expire for at least a month. I might go a couple of months out on that. And that would be the play to the downside. But until then, 192.17 does represent the beginning of a meaningful range of support down to 191.60 that can absorb selling through August trade. Now for the day itself. And this image actually shows a lot. 195.40. You also have the high of that low from a couple of weeks ago at 195.10. But I've reduced, actually eliminated it altogether in favor of 195.40. Able to contain session weakness. Above which 196.51, nothing more than this red line across the highs, actually contain Tuesday's high, can contain intraday strength. And if we push or open above 196.51, 198.23 in reach. You can see it all right here. 195.40 day support, 198.23 day resistance with a pivot point inside that zone at 196.51. 
holding below 196.51, 195.40 likely, pushing or opening above 196.51, 198.23 likely, where we can place a daily high. And if we close today above 198.23, we should, over the next three to five days, push on up into this 203.19 to 204.48 region, where we can once again top out on a weekly basis. I'm keeping this upper zone weekly resistance only because of the longer term buy signal that played out. 192.17 deserves four star multi week uh, support level uh, 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 status. In other words, able to contain selling through August. On the way up, 204.48 can again contain weekly buying pressures. And if we were to close above 204.48 in the coming week, two or three, then we should reach. I'm actually just going to go right out there and say we should reach this longer term objective at 223.76 within probably three to five weeks of closing above 204.08. Because this 216.46 actually converges with that 223 area resistance anyway as we move into later August. So closing above 204.48, we should, uh, by the end of September or sooner, reach our objective at 223.76. So, you know, here again, if I'm talking to options traders, closing above this 204.48 formation, if you're not long already in terms of out of the money calls, you may then consider, because I think it would be a relatively reliable buy signal up to the 223.76 formation, you may reach for 225 out of the money calls that don't expire for at least several months. I don't know if there's really anything else that needs to be said today. I'll just remind you that if we break 195.40, we just might reach the 192.17 level on an intraday basis, the beginning of a zone down to 191.60. That represents a buy opportunity not only for the day, not only for the week, not only through August, but perhaps into September or October because we could come off of this area nicely as we move through the rest of the third quarter. I'm going to leave it at that for Wednesday's Apple Report. Report. Of course, I'll be back tomorrow with Thursdays. Please click like, share, and subscribe, and check out wickedstocks.com. You have a great evening.